What is up guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing Titan Single Motor Rising Desk and this is actually the cheapest standing desk that you guys can buy. It only costs $274 which is a lot cheaper than most of them out there. So if you guys are interested in buying Titan's Rising Desk, make sure you guys watch the rest of the video. <laughs> So here is the actual desk by Titan. Basically the only thing that is Titan's are the two legs, the motor, all the wires you guys see, and then this black little box that has all the presets and the up and down buttons. Um, the tabletop is from Ikea, it is just a honeycomb filled tabletop. So basically it is a pretty cheap one, but you guys can get a solid wood one if you'd like. But in order to get a desk that rises and that you can stand at for this price, you have to get the Lenmon top because it only costs $30. And I'll also have the link to the Titan desk down below. It only costs $244, which is a lot cheaper. And then the top was like $30. And um, basically, this is like the cheapest combination you guys can get in order to get a standing desk for the price that I found. Um, the quality of this thing is really nice. I was kind of worried because there weren't many reviews on YouTube at the time when I bought it, which was only a few months ago. And um, basically, I was only worried about it not being able to handle the dual monitor setup plus the PC. Um, it handles it completely fine, and in a second I'll show you guys what it sounds like when I rise it. It was pretty easy to set up, and it's kind of weird when you buy it. Um, it's super heavy. But uh, the box itself doesn't have a lot. Like, you would think it would be a lot more. It only comes with the legs, and then the motor, and then that little black box, like I said. And they compact that really well. And so you'd be surprised, like, when you get the box, how small it is. And um, you can put it together, and then it's just this big thing. So they did a really good job packaging it. Um, I'm going to show you the little box here. I don't know exactly what to call it. We'll just stick to the black box. Um, basically, you have up... And then it shows you, I believe, how many centimeters it is at now. Um, I'm not positive on that. And if you guys see the wear here, it's because I actually had to cut this desk in order to make it fit in this kind of small room. And so that's why there's a little bit of wear. But other than that, like, I haven't put much wear on this table besides this spot that stands out to me. And I actually have never noticed this until I recorded the video, of course. But anyways, over here we have four presets. I have this one set to my sitting, which is at, let's see, 74. And then M2 is my standing preset height. And so if there's another person in your house, it's really nice because you can get their sitting and their standing preset. And I'm gonna be quiet real quick so you guys can hear how loud this machine is. So honestly, it isn't too loud. It does make a decent amount of noise, but it's not like blaring loud. You can obviously tell that there's a motor working. And um, to me, it's not annoying whatsoever, but some people like really quiet desks. And this one isn't super quiet, but it gets the job done. And for the price point, you're not gonna be able to do any better. And then that is the motor itself. And then this little gray bar is what turns to lift both legs up. And that is something that you'll have to adjust in order to get the space you want in between the legs. So it's really easy to adjust and um, basically you can change this to however much you need or you can shrink it down if you have a smaller desk. So I'm really easy to set up and then in order to mount your tabletop you just put a screw in there and then there's another one that you guys can't really see it's being blocked by a wire. So I believe you only put in like eight screws into the actual tabletop and then it's ready to go. And then um, I have the RGBs down here just so I can see everything down here so I can light up my cable mess. And this desk is actually really sturdy as well. Um, there's a tiny bit of rock. I don't know if you guys can see this, but uh, it rocks a tiny when you're up here. And I was worried when I was hearing that this desk can rock a little. But um, when you're actually working at it, it's still really nice. It's not really noticeable. It uh, doesn't have the feeling of flimsy, which I had in mind when I heard that these can rock. Um, it's just a tiny bit of movement. It has a little bit of give, but um, it feels sturdy at the same time. It's kind of hard to describe. 
So Titan single motor rising desk may be a lower priced rising desk, but it is really nice. There's nothing cheap about the build quality. Everything's like solid metal and then the wires are really nice. They're not cheap or flimsy. Um, the only thing that's a tiny bit like flimsy is this gray bar when you extend it really far. I've been using this for seven months and it's never malfunctioned. But if you guys can see, this bar has a tiny bit of give and it's just really thin. And you just wouldn't expect that this bar can just help rise the entire desk, but it does fine. So this is what the desk looks like from underneath. The bar on this side is a little longer, so you can put that towards the front so you have more room for your legs and so you're not hitting anything. Another nice thing is that there's just so much open space under the desk. So I put these as far out as possible and I never hit anything with my legs, which is nice. And again, this is the single motor one, so there's only one motor, but it works fine and I have a decent amount on my desk and it lifts fine. And even if my arms are still on the desk typing, um, it gives a little bit more weight and it still lifts just fine. So I'm kind of curious how much weight this can actually lift. I have a feeling it's a lot more than they say, but um, they probably just do that so you don't damage it. And so the LED on this thing will go off if you're not using it. But as soon as you press it, you can see the height that you're at. So if I press it down once, it'll show me the height. And if I want to go down, I just hold it and it works really easily. And one last thing, if you guys want to set a preset, all you have to do is hold the preset button that you want at the height you want and it'll beep just like that and it's really easy to do. So if I go down and now I press M3 again, it'll go back to 104. So that was my review for Titan Single Motor Rising Desk. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure you drop a like and if you guys want to purchase one of these, make sure you go down to the description below and find the link there. See you guys in the next video and peace out. Yeah.